Hey, this is Lisa Lisa from the Cherry on Top. I wanted to show you my new to jour page starters. It's kind of a different concept, so I wanted to make sure that you knew exactly what these things are all about. I'm going to show you what's all in the page starters and some different ways of how to use them. Here you can see that I'm providing you with several clusters. I've, I've given shadowed clusters as well as clusters without shadows. I've also included most of the elements that I used within the clusters. Here's a couple of the images so you get an idea. You can see them in the thing. And then you get the clusters themselves. I'll just run through real quick and show you each and every one. These are the clusters. These are examples with the clusters without the bottom shadow. There are other shadows, but just not the ones on the bottom. So you will be able to put your own shadow on the bottom. And I'll show you how to do that too. All right. And then you'll see that there are five basic pages. And what you do, here's the five basic pages, and they've also been shadowed. And you're just going to add shadows on top of those. Well, not just your shadows, but the clusters, if you choose. I've also, as you can see in my gallery, I've added a couple of papers. That's a little bit of a sneak peek for you. <laughs> um, Sandy Santiago from Key Lime Digi Designs and I have teamed up, and we're doing the daily download at Ginger Scraps. Every day, go to the Ginger Scraps blog, and you'll be able to get a little portion of it. And by the end of the month, you'll have this lovely, large collection. Okay, now let me show you how to use these Pages. Let me show you some examples that I've already made. Here what I did was I just wanted to show off that you don't even have to use the clusters if you don't want. This is just the basic page in the background. And all I did was give a couple of mats and my photos on top. This is uh, just some shots I took uh, around of the village. And what you can also do is once you've done that, is you can take some of the clusters that I've given and just add them to it. So that's a way that you could use them. Let me show you another way. I'm going to take this page here, and then I'm going to pull in a paper. And I'm going to be soon <laughs> insert a large photo. And I'm going to kind of put it underneath all this stuff. So, But I want to show you how you can do it really quickly. Now take a look at my time. It's like 4.13. Watch how fast you'll be able to scrap a page. Um, because I'm a template maker, I often give myself a little template to use, and it goes even faster still. Now, see what I'm using right here? It's just a blank page that I created, and I keep it in my gallery, so I can just slide it in. I'm going to make it exactly the size that I think I'll want my photo. Okay, you see what I did? I put in a paper. I added just this blank page, and I'm going to put my photo on top of that. And I'm going to come over to the right here, I'm going to right click, and I'm going to create a clipping mask, and then it's going to fit right in there, so I don't even have to waste time getting my photo to be just perfect in there. I don't have to worry about distorting or anything like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for my clusters and find the clusters that I just covered up. One of them is this one that hangs from the top here, and look, it is exactly the same size. So there's very little you have to do except for put it right over the top of that cluster, and that's it. There you go. Look, now it's over my picture instead of buried underneath. Here's my other cluster. I love this one. Yes, it took me forever. I hand drew <laughs> the Eiffel Tower and put all these flowers all over it. So it, it, was, it was quite time consuming. Enjoy it. Enjoy it, people. Okay, and then we're going to put that right over the top. And another thing you could do is, is add a little shadow if you want. I'm going to come up here really quickly and simplify all these layers okay and let me show you what it looks like when you add a little shadow over the top okay just real quick there we go that's pretty dark and intense we could go a little lighter if we want to get you choose the shadow that you want there look page complete oh look it's still 414 <gasps> my goodness we did that page and it didn't even take us a minute so there you can see you can get a gorgeous page if time is of the essence this is the way to go. Let's do one more and I'll show you again just how quick. Okay, we're 415 now, so it probably just popped up. Okay, I'm gonna take this page here. I'll do my blank page in there again. And then we're gonna go ahead and just you know, you know, make this whatever size you think you want. Let's just say we want it maybe this size. I know I want to try to get two pictures in here because you know what are you gonna do here? You could journal here if you want. That might be uh, a nice idea. I'm gonna duplicate that. 
And I'm going to make it the size that I think another picture might look good in. I kind of know what I want to play with. I did prep a little bit so that I wouldn't have to waste too much of your time to show you how you can use uh, use these. There. These are going to be for my pictures. What you could also do is add some more matting. Actually, I think it would look really great. You know what? We'll go real fast and we'll add some matting. And I'm going to take the matting that matches these colors that I used here. Okay, we'll create a clipping mask. You see how that works? It's really simple. I'm going to duplicate this one and just put it over the other one, and then we'll have these match. just want to try to do this as quickly as possible for you. You can either slide in another one, or you can duplicate in, and uh, it'll go a little bit faster that way, too, whichever you want. See? And now I have, like, this nice little mat there behind. That's kind of nice. And just get this exactly you want. You don't have to worry about distorting when it comes to this little blank papery thing because you're just going to clip right over the top of it anyway. So it doesn't really matter. I'll just duplicate that one maybe and put it over this other one here. And then we'll see just how quickly we can get another page going. Okay, we're already into a whole minute. Look, if I leave this open, it'll kind of look like a, a Polaroid picture. Let's just leave it like that because that's something different. Okay, I already have some really fun pictures here of some scrappy sisters that came to visit me here at my place in Germany. I'm just going to right click and we're going to create that clipping mask. Look at all those beautiful smiling faces. There they are. Some of your favorite designer friends all sitting at one table. And there's yours truly kind of crazy in and out as usual. Right click, create a clipping mask. Oh, well, okay. And then you can choose if you want everybody in there, or maybe you just want two. There's my girl Manu, and here is me and and Verna. And let's just say we're gonna leave it like that. And then all I have to do is go get my girls, my girls partying it up, having a good old time. We're gonna right click, bring to the front. There they are. I'm using the unshadowed, but see, because of the shadows on the original version, <laughs> you kind of see that you could choose if you want to use the shadowed version or the unshadowed. It depends on your skill level. If you don't know much about shadows, then use our shadows and you'll be good to go. But there you go. That's it. You can add some extra shadows if you want under your, um, under your pictures for a little bit more. Bada bing, bada boom. You play with that and see however you want, but there you go. Look. Three minutes and you get a whole nother page done. That's how fast these work. And it's exactly what it's meant to do. You get a little bit of freedom. With a quick page, you don't have any freedom. You have to just put your picture in the size they want, the place they want. With these quick pages, or these page starters, rather, sorry, these page starters, you can customize it and you have a lot more freedom to do what you want to do. Thanks so much for checking out the cherry. I certainly hope you'll go check out our page starters over at the Ginger Scrap Shop. Happy scrubbing!